Hey aviators, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ty Jones, your Aero Nerd, and today I want to discuss with you with what happens when you jump in your Cessna, you close the door, you do your pre-flight checklist, and you turn the key to start the engine. What really happens when you turn that key? So I want to provide to you guys a very simplified version of what really happens. And for all you technical folks, this is gonna be a simplified, 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 simplified version of what happens. Coming right up. It's gonna be clear for coming in 2000. Okay, so again, very simplified. Not every single detail is gonna be happening. So for all you AMPs out there, for all you technical folks, before you go crazy, yeah, but you didn't say anything about the transistor. You didn't say anything about the determinator. You didn't say anything about the alternator. You didn't say anything about- Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. It's okay. Yeah, but- This is just a simplified version. With that being said, let's continue. All right, so let's go ahead and get started real quick. So first, what happens when you turn the key, right? That's what I first said in the video. So I'll just draw my little key right here. So there is your key, there's your skeleton key, the one that starts all aircraft, even the G6 and the Gulf Streams. Anyway, you get this key, and what happens, this key is actually connected to a battery. So let's draw our little battery right here, yay. Oh my god, this is a horrible battery, but anyway, you get the point. Here's your, uh, cool. So this end of the battery is connected to a circuit. When you turn the key to that battery, what happens to this circuit is actually closes the circuit, and what happens is this actually goes to a starter motor. So this is our starter, starter motor. Now the starter motor has this little gear right here, this little gear. Now when you click it and it, jar and it energizes the, st the starter motor, this little gear actually pops out so it little pops out here and what it pops out it turns this little shaft and this is also with a bunch of gears too so before you start it this is what it looks like and then when you start it it actually comes out and it makes contact with this uh flywheel right here right um, so when this thing starts actually starts turning because it's in being energized by the battery power. When this turns, it's connected to this. Guess what? This is also gonna turn. When this thing turns, hey, let's actually connect a, uh, let's connect a spinner on this. So here's our spinner, yay. And then the other half this is gonna be our crankshaft, which is right here, cool. And we'll put gears behind here too. Just, just for simplicity, again, simplicity here. So as this thing is turning, the prop is turning, this thing is turning, and so let's go ahead and put some um, some cylinders on here. Yay, four cylinder, right? We're, we're, we're flying a four cylinder today, yay, whatever. Anyway, so that's our four cylinder here. Now on the back of this, since this is spinning, let's go ahead and put our Let's put our another little gears back here, and this is going to be our mags. Now, if you're not sure what mags are, what mags do, I'm pretty sure there's other YouTube videos that you can probably look at after this video, and then uh, they'll explain what mags are. If you want me to explain, just put it in the comments below, and I'll put another video out there for you guys. And as we're continuing, so again, review starter. This pops out. It's turning this. It's turning the whole thing. While these are turning, these are going up and down, up and down, up and down. As it's continuing to turn, it's connected to these mags. These mags are turning. Guess what? When mags start turning, what do they generate? Electricity. So they, this mag one is connected to here. Another mag one is connected to here, to this one. This mag two is also connected to this one. Mag two is also connected to this one. And it does the same thing for cylinders three and four. There, just to make it simple and to make it less crazy, I'm just only gonna draw the diagram for one and two, but you get the point. There's actually four uh, wires that come out of this and they generate electricity. They go straight to these spark plugs and the spark plugs, which is what causes the, combu uh, the, the, combustion, the, the combustion stroke. 
So the cylinder, the cylinder comes down, it sucks in the, um, it sucks in the air. Uh, for carburetor engine, it sucks in the air and the fuel mixture. It, it squeezes that as the door is closed. It, it, it closes, squeezes that compression, and then what happens then is it has a, a little spark which ignites that uh, fuel air mixture, and it boom, and it has an, an explosion that causes, that forces that cylinder to go right back down. As it goes down, it helps keep this thing turning. Um, but the initial thing that causes the spark, where does that spark come from? Where does that electricity come from? It comes from the magneto. Now, now that we got electricity, now that the cylinders are going down and they're getting forced and they're getting electricity from the spark plug from this and they're getting intake from the, uh, from the mixture because you got the mixture knob all the way in. By this time, the engine is probably already started. And this is how it starts. Now, how do we get in, how do we get electricity for our uh, radios and our flaps and our wing lights and our lights and all that good stuff. So there's another little belt that, that connects from here and this is our alternator. Alternator. Uh, oh, okay, maybe I can draw that a little bit better. Okay, so there's a belt here and there's a little thing that sticks out here and then here's our alternator right here. So, alt. Cool. All right. So when this thing, when this is spinning, it's connected to this belt and it's, it's making this thing spin and then your alternator is spinning. Hey, that's uh, generating, generating electricity. This is right here, powers your avionics and your, uh, your lights, your radios, your flaps, all that good stuff. This is where it gets its electricity from. Also, it also, so we just drain the battery, right? So when we started the motor, the, the battery level was up here. We cranked for like 20 seconds like we're not supposed to. And now the battery level is down here. But let's say we, we did that one last crank and now we got the engine started. Yay, but what are we going to do with the juice in this battery? How are we going to get more juice in this battery? Well, we have this alternator. Now that it's started, it's going to re charge the battery from the alternator. So yay, now it's full. That's why when you look at your alt, your uh, your ammeter, when you first, actually no, it's actually like this. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it is the other way. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I'm only a CFI. So, uh, when you first start the, crank the engine, it's probably gonna look like this. Your needle is probably gonna look on the negative side. Well, why is it negative? Well, because we just drained our battery, right? But now that we got the we got the the uh, engine started, the battery's getting charged now. So that's why we have a positive on our ammeter. And then, of course, when we have our battery completely charged, by the time we're taxiing to uh, to go to our run-up area. Most likely, you're gonna have a zero because it's it's no longer it's no it's neither discharging or it's neither uh, charging because the battery is already full and there's no need to be, for it to be on the positive anymore. That's why we have zero. So anyway, that explains that. Um, furthermore, on top of that, uh, what happens if our battery? Uh, I'm sorry. What happens if our alternator gives out? Oh my gosh! No, we have no. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the Kevin Hart no for for use for those who uh, Kevin Hart fans. But anyway, we. Uh, we have no alternator anymore. Oh my gosh, no, what do we do? Well, what powers our avionics now? Well, our battery has a alternate. So that, that battery is an alternate for our avionics. Now, how long does this battery have? This, this is very limited. All we have is this amount of juice in here to power our avionics. So how long do you have? I don't know, maybe 10, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know if you're lucky. Depending on how much avionics you have. If it's at nighttime, most likely you have all your lights on. I would say the battery is going to drain a little bit faster than you were than you would than you would um, in the daytime. But if it's running at daytime, you know you may not need your avionics. You may I'm sorry, you may not need uh, everything. If you're going into Delta airspace, you know then turn off your transponder, um, turn off your, your your second radio if you have second if you have two independent radios. Um, you know turn off your turn off your lights. You don't really need it. It's in daytime. Uh, try to use uh, try to conserve this uh, the best you can um, if you can. Um, so in a nutshell, folks, this is how the engine starts. So again, just a quick review. We have our key, we turn the key. The key powers the battery, 
closes the circuit in the battery, the battery sends signal to the er, uh, uh, electricity to the starter motor. The starter motor pops out, and I'll show you a video right about now. Okay, so if you look really closely, okay, I'm gonna actually circle where you should be looking. So right there, right there, and right there. See that gear that popped out? There it is. In case if you guys missed it, I'll do this again in slow motion. Look at that gear, little starter motor is going to pop out, and there it is, popping out, started, and now it pulled back in. And your engine is started. So the starter motor actually pops out, it, it, uh, it rotates this big old gear right here. This gear is one big solid, just look at this as like one big solid piece. When this moves a little bit, the whole crankshaft, the cylinders move up and down a little bit, the propeller moves a little bit, it's all connected to one piece. When this thing rotates, it's connected to these gears right here. These gears automatically make these mags uh, rotate. When the magnetos rotate, it generates electricity. That electricity goes to the um, to the spark plugs. The spark plugs make the combustion. And that's what forces the cylinders down, and that's what starts the engine. As long as it has uh, um, spark, has air, has fuel, it's gonna keep on doing that rotation, and that's when we can release the key. We don't really need to do the starter motor anymore. And then when that happens, the starter motor really goes back in its little cave, and we don't need it anymore because the engine's already started. But the, end, the, the battery is already drained a little bit, so what happens next is the alternator gets its power from the cranking engine. So as this is spinning, this is attached to a belt, and when this is spinning, it causes the alternator to generate electricity just the same way as the mags generate electricity. When this is spinning, hey, it's generating electricity. So um, this is when this is alternator spinning, it's generating electricity. It's actually using that to recharge the battery that we just drained. And also it's powering the avionics, our radios, our flaps, our, our uh, transponder, our, uh, our, our DME, our G1000, or whatever aircraft you're, you're flying. Um, that's what happens here. Now, if the battery goes out, we got we get the charged battery to re to use it as a backup power source for the avian. Now, for your G1000 folks, yes, we do have another standby battery for that purpose because G1000 gets a lot more power. But we're not going to talk about that. Maybe that's in another video. But this is how your engine starts. So, like I said before, just calm down. It's okay, you ANPs out there. Just relax. It's just a simplified video, like I said before. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want any more videos, just let me know. Put them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and the thumbs up button, and the thumbs down button, and the like, dislike, whatever. There's too many things. I can't keep up with them anymore, but you get the point. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Um, as always, keep flying, keep learning, and always have fun. I'll see you guys next time.